Let's learn a quick kwasha massage for the lower face. If you have time for a longer gua sha massage, I'll link the video here, but you can get plenty done in under one minute if you concentrate on the lower part of the face. I like to use some oil, argan oil is my favorite. And now I'm going to spread it just on my lower face, my jawline, so that I can use my gua sha stone to define my jawline and the cheekbones. Now, please remember that if you have any inflammation on your skin, if you have severe acne, if there's any inflamed rash on your skin, then gua sha might not be for you. You can just do it with your fingers. I will show you how in just a minute. And also, if you have a tendency to bruise easily due to any medication or condition, then just please stick to your fingers. A gua sha stone might be too much. I'm using my other hand to keep my skin in place, especially if you have white, uh, easily uh, wrinkling skin like mine. And if you're over 30, please be very careful. Don't push too much. You don't want to wrinkle the skin. You don't want to stretch the skin. I use my other hand and then I use my gua sha stone in a 45 degree angle. So not in a straight angle and not pushing, but more like pulling towards the ear in a 45 degree angle. If you have a gua sha stone shaped like this, then you can use the uh, hollow of the heart for the jawline and just gently is enough four or five times for each position. Then I move to my lower lip. So I start from under my lower lip and go towards the ear. Then I'm going to cover my mouth and go from the corner of the mouth towards the ear. And then from the side of the nose, under this uh, uh, cheekbone, so that I will define the cheekbone. And if there's any water retention on your face, this will really help. Now, if you don't have a gua sha stone, then you can just use a kind of a tool with your index finger and your thumb, shaped like a triangle, like this. Even then, please use your other hand to keep the skin in place so that it doesn't stretch. Your thumb can be under the jawline and your index fingers, index finger on top of it, like this. Okay, let's do both sides. If you have more time, of course, it's always a good idea to do gua sha for the entire face, but just doing four or five times for each Position here, it takes less than a minute. I'll show you in shorts and you can get plenty of done. I recommend that you give it two weeks of daily gua sha, even just for the lower part of the face. And especially if you have any water retention there and that's the reason why you don't have cheek defi definition or jaw definition, you will definitely see your results in just under two weeks. Please let me know in the comments how it goes. Uh, let me know if you want more gua sha videos. And if you haven't done it yet, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.